According to Mason South Korea recently conducted missile tests in December 2023, launching the Hyunmu, 4-1 and Hyunmu-V strategic missiles. The Hyunmu-V missile is reported to have more than 11 tons of firepower and plans to equip it with maneuverable re-entry vehicle, MARV, and multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle, MIRV, capabilities. The Hyunmu-4-1 and Hyunmu-V missiles, also known as the High Power Missile, HPM, are designed to effectively neutralize underground facilities. The Hyunmu-V missile has a unique design meant to detonate above these facilities, rendering them ineffective by burying them completely. Its solid propellant is powerful enough to require a cold launch mechanism. Moreover, all Hyunmu ballistic missiles are equipped with evasion systems designed to counteract air defense systems used by North Korea and other countries. The Hyunmu-V missile weighs 36 tons and follows a lofted trajectory, flying through the exosphere to enhance its penetration capability. South Korea has also conducted tests on hypersonic cruise vehicles, with ongoing development efforts focused on the hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV. According to sources, South Korea currently has a stockpile of over 20 Hyunmu V missiles, and mass production of the HPM series missiles is underway. South Korea uses the term extreme precision, high power missile, instead of more conventional designations like IRBM, intermediate range ballistic missile, or ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missile. According to the chosen ILBO on December 29, 2023, the South Korean Minister of National Defense, Shin Won Sik, recently announced the successful test launches of the Hyunmu 4-1 and Hyunmu V missiles by the South Korean Army, without disclosing the exact timing of these tests. However, as reported by M51, forever on January 7, 2024, information about these tests is often disclosed through notams, notice to airmen which are notifications issued to ensure the safety of airspace and aircraft during missile-related activities. NOTAMs are issued to inform pilots about restricted or hazardous airspace regions associated with missile launches. These NOTAMs contain information such as geographical coordinates, altitude limits, duration, and other pertinent details about the restricted airspace. M51.4 Everse analysis of NOTAMs activated in South Korea in December 2023 suggests that the Hyunmu V test likely took place either on December 26 or 27. The test was conducted at a test range near Jiangjakri village on the west coast, targeting a group of islands approximately 185 kilometers south of the launch point, a distance almost identical to the separation between Seoul and Pyongyang. However, South Korea's missiles have not yet been proven in combat, unlike North Korea's Wasong 11-KN-23 ballistic missile, which was reportedly used by Russia in Ukraine. In recent years, South Korea has made significant investments related to the 3K defense system, designed to preempt North Korean nuclear launches and counterattack missiles, with the capacity to intercept projectiles at altitudes up to 60 kilometers, scheduled to be established in 2024. South Korea's strategic command will oversee this three-axis defense system, consisting of three platforms and concepts, all starting with the letter K, the kill chain component, Korea Air and Missile Defense, KMD, system, and Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation Plan, KMPR. The kill chain component ensures a swift response to North Korean missile threats, with an emphasis on detecting and engaging targets, including North Korean nuclear and missile facilities, before they can launch their missiles. The kill chain component is said to have the capability to target mobile missile launchers within 30 minutes.